great. Great. I like demo days. I like you. Mm -hmm. Have I played Jassant yet? No. New game. And so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision making. Uh, Glyph, one second on that. Knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head. But only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. Oh my god, you've made the wrong choice. You didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. Everything's on fire now. We're all covered in fire. How could you have done this to us? Cozy is fine. Will. Will. Uh, real quick. Cliff says, did Co change his schedule or something? Um, he's almost always off at this time. So the way that my schedule works is I'm on every day at 8 a.m. ET. I generally stream to between 11, between like 11 and 12. I take an hour lunch and then most days I'm back for an afternoon stream. And then I'm almost always back for a cozy stream uh, at 6.30. So yes, I always take an hour-ish lunch and uh, I do two streams a day and start every day at 8 a.m. Boop. All right. What? Oh, Dad, I was... Oh, I must have been having a nightmare. I'm hard. No, it'll be a while until I do. Probably at least be a few months, yeah. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake, I think it's time you and I had the talk. The talk? Out of one nightmare and into another. Okay. Sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life... Dad, you don't have to do this. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bet on the goblin ball match down at the pub. Aw, <laughs> oh, Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I, I want to throw rocks at things. Don't yell at me, 84. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you, buddy. You think I Thanks didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. I love his little smile. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed the bet at the goblin ball match down at the pub. Did he ever win anything? Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? Fair. But I'm 12. Won't we get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Come on, I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. Oh my god. Lone Mike, thank you, bud. Okie dokie, ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? Oh good, everyone loves a tutorial. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? Uh, okay. I guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Ah, good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. How's your day today? Plain and boring, as always. Bingo. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. It's Hamish. What is? Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. I 
would like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? Lil puts it in her inventory. After they state their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. You can click on them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Okay. Not really. What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. <laughs> I've really got to speed this along. The okay. Gobble Ball game is about to start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? Oh, no, not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is whirly gigging the ceremonial for a slingshot. <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters, we gotta get to that game. Let's wrap this up, dear. Seamus, tell the girl what to do. The name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. Thanks for the chat, love, Dinger. Appreciate you, bud. Okay, click any highlighted elements to learn about them. Didn't we cover this? That's your inventory bag where you keep the things people give you or that you confiscate from them. In other Sorry, words, that's me. your sweet, sweet loot. Looking in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. I already told you, clicking on the person means you interrogate them and hear more of their story. It's the best way to find out someone's true intentions. Sometimes. 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 Sometimes using a tool will do the job better, or the phone, or it's a combination of things. I don't know, you can see that guy three, three point? It kind of sounds like it. Them for all I care. Feeling stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help, but all they'll really give you is their opinion. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Hello, who's there? Or First Councilwoman Ash, the head bureaucrat of the Sprawl, with a real mind for politics. This is Councilwoman Ash. Hello? Hello, is somebody there? And finally, the Royal Jester Malcolm, chaos personified in human form. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd the goose go? Well, chase after it, for goodness sake. Each call costs an action point. Our tools. If you want to use a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Here, I'll show you. I'll add today's crystals to the tools that don't have any. That way I have a well-rounded arsenal. Why do the other tools already have crystals in them? I carry them over from previous days. Any other questions? Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? No more questions. <laughs> Binders of the Lost Relic theme. No humming. This x-ray scanner can see through most types of clothing, flesh, and bone. It uses low-grade radiation. Do not use on trolls. Truth spray. You spray it, and they tell the truth. Honestly, that's what it does. It's a metal detector. You figure it out. You can use this decoder ring to decode things. Not exactly sure how it works. The instructions were written in some kind of code. You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in or send them packing. Choosing this will end the tutorial. Can I finally get out of here? Oh, you wait. use the Wicked 3000. This is the Royal Writ. The first thing to do when you start your shift is take a look. It's got a lot of information you'll need to do your job. You can click the Royal Writ at any time and it won't cost you any points. 
Castle Guard Court can achieve a good star rating this month. There will be a pizza party at the barracks. In the dash of Councilwoman Ash there will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Guardsman Randy at 35 years at his post. After a six month undercover operation at the Sprawl Cabin for the elderly, a group of sweet grannies and grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs into and out of the city. Well, not every old person is to be treated as a drug mule. Please be vigilant when dealing with somebody's grandparent. You use the Wicked 3000. Now you can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn. But sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to find out everything you can, by any means necessary. Sometimes? Yeah. And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am right now. So just pick a damn lever already. Sorry, I don't have time to hear Mrs. Abernathy plead her case again today. We're just going to let her in. Mm. Okay. job, Lil. Your mother would be so proud to see you now. After my delivery, I'm off to watch the big game. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are gonna win it today. Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. Oh, God. Um, oh, jeez. Shoot. I just realized I think I left my phone in the car. Um... Mods, you know what to do. Back in a sec. Ah! Okay. Well, I'm glad I checked because my wife was definitely trying to call me. I, I, I must have like, my husband radar must have gone off or something. Okay. Let's keep going. Here's a tip. Never lend Miss Abernathy money to bet with. Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we, Hamish? My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not. Oh, I better go. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. More like I'm being forced to do this. It's only for today, I swear. Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. Good luck. Good luck with your illegal gambling. I don't need luck. Believe me, he does. Okay, Lil, you got this. I love the fact that this is fully voice acted. Oh man. Okay. Your tools have been preloaded with power crystals. The premium pink ones are mage grade and work 100% of the time. The inexpensive yellow ones only work 40% of the time? Oh, come on. Although Lil has not technically received the Chronometer 3K yet, you can try your hand at time travel at any time in the guard shed. Try clicking on the inventory and then clicking on the hourglass looking device. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Briel and Darunia Athanatos. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Will you require anything further? There will be a demonstration in the city square held by the members of the Mages Guild. If any speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Let's talk to him first. What's your speech about? Oh, my dear child. It is obvious to me that you do not possess a magical bone in your body, and my speech, therefore, would only serve to confuse and frighten you. Please. The only one confused is you about how frightened you are of me, stupid. Man, I really need to work on my teasing. Huh. I admire your bravery, but you walk a fine line between bravery and foolishness. Be warned. I'm so 
glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Ouch! Admit the mage and my people will escort him to the venue. The House of Thanatos, and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. You will go far. Okay. Wait, I didn't get four? I missed something. Charmed to make your acquaintance. I have been summoned to do. Will you require? Let's call her. I'm so glad. Admit the mage. And okay. What's your speech about? Oh, my dear child. Trust. I trust you know what you're talking about. I am very glad you agree. You can hold your head high knowing that you are aiding the greater good today. are just a few select works from my family library. Things to sign and give to my many adoring fans tonight. Very well spotted. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Would you like one? Hmm. Here. Yes, this one should open your eyes. Etiquette when dealing with superior beings. Great, thanks. You're welcome. I wrote it. Okay. Now do we get four? The House of Thanatos and indeed the entire Mages Guild. Thank you, young guardian. I didn't see any stars on that one. No! Interesting. Okay. You messed up again. I'm not I'm not sure what we were trying to do there, but I mean we got something we wouldn't have gotten before, so oh my god. Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from the no good, stingy, low life of a father, who happens to be my lying, cheating, low life of an ex-husband, Orlando. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Believe me, I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for once. This looks like a troll. This woman's having a rough day. I'd rather save the charge. Aww. I haven't had someone see me in my skivvies since... Ugh, I guess Orlando. I didn't get four because I didn't call the second time. Okay. See what you're saying. Can I decoder ring the thing? tell you this but there's more to this letter than meets the eye there's a hidden message written here it says come son mommy kelly is nightmare 
Does that make sense to you? Oh my god! My boys don't know how to spell! But also that thing about Kelly being the worst! Uh, Nanny. So that's Kelly isn't as fun as she's made out to be. If anything, she's making my kids miserable. I've never been so happy in my life! Oh my god, I need to get my kids right now! What's your game plan? First, I'll make sure my boys are safe. Next, I'll s Kelly's so hard that it'll f up Orlando's Good use of the Dakota Ring Guardsman. You didn't judge a book by its cover, and you knew not to stand in the way of a mama bear and her cubs. Oh my god. <laughs> Amelia Tyler, this is this has been awesome so far. Blasted hell is the hold up. Why have we stopped, Welp? Applause, well, please. Sir, the guard. Silence! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip. Welp. Yes, sir. Now, you, child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. B.S.? Bank of the Sprawl. Well, that's unfortunate. Yes, it is gold, but it is legitimate. Certainly not blood gold, if that's what you were thinking. Well, I wasn't before you said anything. Arise, chicken, arise. Everything seems to be in order, but I wonder what that stamp was on the gold bars. The, the money? It was money. Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable, petty little monster, let me wow. pass. What kind of business do you have at the bank today, sir? I shan't be airing the details of my BS appointment with some nosy little brat tending the gate. Mind your business or you'll get the whip, child. Jeez. Oh, yes, we mustn't keep you from your ever so important meeting. Hm. BS is right. 